The Renesis F foam dressing kit with soft port is intended to be used in conjunction with Smith & Nephew Renesis Negative Pressure Wound Therapy NPWT devices. The Renesis NPWT system is indicated for patients who would benefit from a suction device, negative pressure wound therapy, as it may promote wound healing via removal of fluids, including irrigation and body fluids, wound exudates and infectious materials. Before using, refer to the instructions for use, IFU, for indications, contraindications, warnings and precautions. Debride any devitalized or necrotic tissue. Cleanse the wound bed and pat dry. If desired, protect the peri-wound skin from exposure to moisture and adhesive through the use of a skin sealant. If desired, a non-adherent dressing may be applied to the wound bed, not included in dressing kit. Trim a layer of non-adherent dressing and lay across the wound bed. Cut the foam dressing to fit the size and shape of the wound. Place the cut foam into the wound. Avoid overpacking. The foam should completely fill the wound cavity. It may be necessary to stack pieces of foam in deep wounds. Precaution. If multiple pieces of foam are needed to fill the wound cavity, Count and record how many pieces are present to ensure all are removed at a dressing change. While holding the transparent film, expose one side of the adhesive backing by removing a single panel and apply over the wound. Cover the foam with transparent film, removing the remaining adhesive panels to seal, then the top stabilization panel. Recommendation. The film should extend at least 5 cm to inches beyond the wound margin and be securely anchored to the peri-wound to maintain a good seal. Overlap the edges of the transparent film by a minimum of 7.5 cm 3 inches when using multiple pieces of transparent film. Cut a circular opening no less than 2 cm in diameter in the centre of the film over the foam. Remove any loose transparent film and dispose of away from the wound. Remove the adhesive panel from the Renesis soft port dressing and align the port opening over the cut hole in the transparent film. Use gentle pressure to anchor the soft port to the transparent film. Smooth the dressing down while removing the soft port's top stabilization frame. Secure the Renesis soft port to the patient according to your local protocol. Ensure the aeration disc, located near the quick-click connector, is not covered or otherwise occluded by the method used to secure the soft port. Connect the Renesis soft port tubing to the canister tubing by pushing the quick-click connectors together. An audible click indicates the connection is secure. If using a single soft port connector, ensure the Y connector mode is in the off position on the pump. To begin delivering therapy, Set the pump to the desired pressure and press the Start Therapy button. Finished foam dressings should be leak-free and firm to the touch. Routine inspection of the negative pressure wound therapy device and dressing should include visual inspection and palpation of the dressing. The Renesis touch device and system tubing should be positioned no more than 19 inches or 50 centimeters higher than the wound to ensure optimization of therapy and prevent therapy interruption. Foam dressings should be changed every 48 to 72 hours after initial application of therapy. If no leak is present and the patient is comfortable, dressing changes should occur no less than three times per week. Precaution. The use of negative pressure presents a risk of tissue ingrowth into the foam or gauze. Tissue ingrowth may be reduced by lowering therapy pressure using a wound contact layer or by increasing the frequency of dressing changes. For detailed product information, including indications for use, contraindications, effects, precautions and warnings, please consult the product's operating manuals prior to use. If you have any questions, please contact our customer services team on 08000 157573 or email customer.services.uki at smith-nephew.com